This is a Seeking Delphi minicast from the Association of Professional Futurists annual meeting in Seattle, Washington, July 27, 2017. I'm Mark Sackler. The future lives here. The question I'm asked most often as a futurist is, what is a futurist? So let's hear it from the horse's mouth right here at the APF meeting. So we're at the opening reception at the Association of Professional Futurists in Seattle, Washington, July 27th, 2017. And I'd like to welcome back the chair of the board of the Association of Professional Futurists to Seeking Delphi, Cindy Fruin. Well, welcome. Hi. hi, hi Mark, how are you? <laughs> okay, so the question I'm putting to you, and I'm gonna to put to several people here at this because it's one that I'm constantly asked. Your definition, what is a futurist? So a futurist is someone that thinks long term about the future, right? Instead of just thinking about what's going on in the next year or two, we think in terms of corporations, we might think five or ten years out. In terms of cities, we think 50 or 100 years out. So it's all about learning how to see the future more clearly and then learning how to use that back with today. That's what futurists do. What about the Association of Professional Futurists? Uh, tell us a little about what this organization is and what it does. So the Association of Professional Futurists was founded in 2002 by a group of futurists, a lot of them that came out of the University of Houston program at Clear Lake at the time, which is now in downtown Houston, and I teach in that program, so I'm giving it a slight plug. <laughs> At any rate, it started as a desire to create a community for us to be able to share how we do things and to be able to improve our practices and then get the word out about how you do professional foresight. Okay, so uh, these are this is professional foresight. What about, how do you classify uh, people that are, say, inventing the future, like, say, Elon Musk? Oh, Jeff Bezos, they're, they're, they're not futurists the way professional futurists look at it, who are using methodology to create scenarios, but they're inventing the future. Exactly, they're visionaries. And so they are people that are just geniuses in their own field, and so they are already making the future. Now I'm an architect and a futurist, and so architects also make the future. But in this case, the people that you are naming are actually envisioning a very different future because they're doing technology. Well, anybody that does any planning or architecture or design or, or engineering are also making certain kinds of the future, just not as famously as those gentlemen. So they're kind of visionaries about the future. Outstanding. Thank you, Cindy. All right. I'm with Andy Hines. Andy is the coordinator of the University of Houston's Foresight Graduate Program. Andy, welcome to Seeking Delphi. Well, thanks for having me, Mark. With all the hubbub that's going on in the background, with all these futurists, the question of the moment is, what is a futurist? I get asked that all the time. So, how do you define a futurist? Well, I like to compare it to a historian studying the past, uh, a journalist covering the present, and a futurist exploring and covering the future. Interesting. Interesting. How did you become a futurist? Like um, almost all of my colleagues, I stumbled upon it one day uh, by accident and found out that there was uh, that, that these folks existed, were doing interesting things. I said, like, you can do, you can get a job at that, and yeah, you can. And uh, it was like one of those love at first sight moments. Well, getting a job at that—that's like a professional futurist. But there, there are people out there that the public might look at as futurists that really aren't quite the same as professional futurists. Uh, the people who are inventing the future, like Elon Musk, people who write about it a lot from other scientific fields like Michio Kaku. What's your view on, on that? Well, Do you consider them futurists? Absolutely. I mean, what, I would certainly put myself in the core of professional working futurist because that's something that's really important to me. But I think it's a really broad tent in the, or big ecosystem, however you want to think about it. And some people, uh, you know, have different contributions and uh, I, we need people that make the future interesting and popular. So thank goodness we have those folks. Yeah, do you have any ideas on how we can get people in society as a whole just to think about the future more as opposed to not, not thinking beyond the next paycheck or election or quarter or... Yeah, boy, I wish we had the answer to that one. I, I guess, I, I mean, 
certainly if you're you know focusing on day-to-day -day survival thinking about the long-term futures of luxury so I guess the, uh, the short-term prescription there is you know the more that we help people uh, get through their, their day then they have the luxury and the time to think about the long-term future that's great thanks Andy okay. <laughs> all right Richard Young, welcome back to Seeking Delphi for 30 seconds. I want half an elevator speech. Your definition, what is a futurist? Thanks, Mark. In my opinion, a futurist is someone who's willing to th think about the world outside of the basic assumptions that we typically come at reality with. Whether we're talking about the present day or the future, we have to be willing to put aside our initial assumptions about how it could be manifest and be willing to explore a range of possibilities, particularly from a systems thinking view. Well, your definition, what is a futurist? Futurist is someone who helps others journey to a place, not a destination. And it is what you make it to be, not something that is going to happen without you doing anything. So you're not going to just wander into it. It's something that can be shaped, something that can be converted into something useful, practical, and constructive. Excellent. I want to just a quick half an elevator speech. Your definition, what is a futurist? So for us, a futurist is to uh, someone who can understand what's happening on the periphery of today and envision what that means for tomorrow. A futurist is someone who uh, blends a certain uh, uh, discomfort with the status quo with a uh, curiosity of what has not yet happened. A futurist is someone who studies change. A futurist is a visionary. Joyce, Joya, I want half an elevator speech here. What is a futurist by your definition? A futurist is someone who looks at what's happened in the past, what's happening now, and makes some attempt to project out what will be happening in the future. I'm going to have to revert to the classic definition, which is alternative scenarios. Being able to look and see beyond the obvious and understand implications for areas outside of your own personal sphere and bubble. Futurist is somebody who looks at change from a structural point of view and can under make sense of what's happening now and what the potential futures are to scope. To me, a futurist is someone who's a student and guide for change. And if you're wondering what my take on the question is, well, I'd have to say all of the above. The APF meeting will continue over the next two days on global health futures. I'll have more on that in a future podcast. I'm Mark Sackler.